Okay guys, so now it's time that we uh, go through the 25th word protection setup for a Trezor device. I'm using a Trezor 1 today. Uh, there's obviously the Trezor, uh, I think Model T or something like that. They just came out, but uh, the process is the same as far as I know. Um, and if not, you can always look it up online. So uh, well, let's get into it. So what we're going to do is we're here on uh, wallet.trezor.io and we're going to connect to our Trezor device. And there you see it initializing. And again, I have the same pen for this one for illustration purposes as I did for the ledger. And so we're just going to put in our pin here. Now the process for putting in a pin is a bit different. Uh, you can see you have the little guide here and this is randomized every time. And then that corresponds over here to um, our pin insert on the website. So we're gonna put in one, one is up here, three, five, and seven, and then nine up here in the top left. We're gonna enter the pin. And we see the account come up. Again, I have 0 .001 BTC up here worth $6.72. And to set up the 25th word protection, we're going to go to Deciphered. Uh, that's the name of my device. Uh, that's just my name for my device here. And we're going to go to the Advanced. And we want to set up Passphrase. Passphrase encryption adds an extra custom word to your recovery seed. This allows you to access new wallets, each hidden behind a particular passphrase. Your old accounts will be accessible with an empty passphrase. Uh, if you forget your passphrase, your wallet is lost for good. There is no way to recover your funds. So we're going to say, I understand, and enable passphrase encryption. So we need to confirm passphrase encryption on our device. So we're going to hit confirm here on the right. And it asks us to disconnect. So we will disconnect the treasure. <laughs> Then we will reconnect. So we want the pin again. So again, it will be one, three, five, and then seven. And where's our nine up here? Enter the pin. Now, it's asking for our passphrase. So just like our ledger, I'm gonna make it very simple. Um, I'm gonna make it a lowercase p a S S and again we'll confirm P A Oh I'm sorry, no, no I did safe. Let me go back. Sorry about that. S A F E lowercase S A F E. We'll show it just to be safe. Okay, safe. These are safe funds. Enter. Okay. So we have no transactions yet. So now our wallet here, this is, it works a little bit different to the ledger. So with ledger, we were, we were connecting a 25th word to a new pen, which means that if we were to recover that wallet, uh, we could recover the non uh, passphrase protected wallet um, using that 25th word. And then there was another wallet that was non passphrase protected that would be recovered with just the first 24. So here uh, it's just said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna make the whole wallet passphrase protected, which means when we go to um, recover this, we're going to need that 25th word. Now, if we wanted to make a similar setup to our ledger, we would need to create um, another account. And then we would need to make that one not passphrase protected and we'd need a new pin. That's what you need to do to set that up, but this is how you set up 25th word for the Trezor one.